Hi everyone and welcome to today's baby card creation using some fun MFT products. We'll be using this welcome baby stamp set and coordinating with this awesome stamp set that has got some really great sentiments and some focal um, word sentiments in there. Um, is the baby rattle and the bundle of baby clothes. Now these sayings, they're two different um, die sets. One's specifically the baby rattle, which would be perfect for shaker cards as well. And the bundle of baby clothes, which suits some of these sentiments. This um, sentiment stamp set here that I've just brought into view is a must have to add into your stash. This is called Essential Sentiments. Such a versatile set and awesome to have in your stash. I've got some two paper pads here from MFT as well, um, the hearts and stripes and also the sweet celebrations with have, which have some cute little patterns that you'll be able to use with your um, clothes and your baby dies. Um, so I've used that in today's card creations. Um, I will be making two cards and I've brought into view some um, light pink card stock which I found coordinated with the paper pack as well as some baby blue card stock. Um, and here I've just pieced them all together in little bits, um, which was fun to do. And I just had a um, glue pen, a fine tip glue pen to put this all through together. I just didn't want to put that into camera to show you all of the fiddly bits. Um, but bringing into view this um, yellow, all these um, papers coordinate with each other. So I kept it very simple and let the paper and the dies do most of the talking. Um, I've got three strips of that yellow. It's like almost like a saffron daffodil kind of beautiful yellow color. Um, now these top folding white card stocks here, I've got one white panel which I'm going to pop up on some foam tape and next to that on the left hand side that's where I'm going to use the strip of the yellow paper um, and that's going to be foam mounted up. So here I've just used some uh, tape to adhere that down with and um, because it is a 6x6 six six paper pack, I've just given it a little bit of a trim and I cut from the back so I can see where I'm cutting and I just follow that along with my paper snips. Um, now using this panel, I foam mounted it a lot, which you can see I did not spare. If I had the actual um, foam sheets, I would have used that. That would have been far better because you'll notice in my stamping later, I had to almost resuscitate and press quite hard. Now with this Inka Dinka Doo masking paper, I've die cut with a circle MFT die. You can use any circle die. I just wanted to get the shadow effect with my ink blending. Um, and I just wanted to um, ink blend a light circle yellow color. So I've used a fossilized amber in the Distress Oxide inks. It goes on like butter. Um, and I've already primed and used this ink before with that ink blending tool so I hardly had to put any ink on that. I did tap it off off camera and I just very very lightly um, blended that on. I hardly put any pressure on that um, as this I found the ink was already loaded up on that ink blending tool so um, I was just careful there. I was I put the circle partly off center um, and you can see it just reveals this awesome image this mask image is just lovely um, and I just love using that masking paper it's, it's only a recent um, addition to my stash okay so I've brought in the distress oxide broken china ink and this stamp set which is so cute it says the laundry is about to get super cute see here what I'm talking about I had to perform CPR on this just about because of the foam it was falling um, in between where it wasn't any pressure on the foam tape so if you can get the whole foam mounted back or stamp before you adhere on which I forgot to do so it was fixable because I used my misty and I was able to line it up with my misty so bringing these cute little gorgeous outfits into view and adhering it down um, and I brought my pretty pink posh um, um, clear sequence, an array here that I have an assortment of sizes um, and this 3D foam um, dots from Couture Creations all available from the Crafty Cafe online store. Um, I've put my multi-matte medium in this actual um, 
application bottle that's got a fine lid and then it's also got like a silicon top so it doesn't clog up I've been really enjoying this lately and I have found this has been quite um, good to use no clog I couldn't get my hands on a precision tip and I was using another one but I found it still clogged up but this one here works so well and I've been liking it so far so I'm trialing this out I've only had it for a couple of weeks but I use it to death I brought into view also to adhere these down is a liquid glue from Gouture Creation, a glue pen. It is a little bit thicker tip, not as good for fine tip as my multi matte medium um, little application bottle that I've used. But um, and that's why I used it with the sequence and then because a thicker application I was able to use for the little dresses and the little outfits. Now I've got this um, Spectrum Noir clear sequence. I um, had it upside down in my pen holder and so it was a little bit clogged up and so I just needed to give it a good brush on a scrap cardstock and I'm just adding some fine little glitter just to add some little dazzle to the little outfits. So it, you really notice it in the reflection as you shimmer away so it's been beautiful a little added element and shimmer to the cards which was nice. So I um, want to continue the theme on the inside as well. Um, so I've just brought in that pattern paper that I use for little outfits um, and just put a strip on the inside and because I made so many outfits what I did was actually um, also put a little outfit on the bottom left of the strip. I, I realized this one didn't match because it was too coordinated so I just brought into view another one and adhered that down which is a bit plainer but it was nice. Um, so I do this with two cards. So today I'll create two cards, same, the same card, but just you'll find the sentiments just a little bit um, different. And I use it from the Essentials Sentiment Pack from MFT. So bringing that into view, adhering this down, and of course, adding some sparkle, <laughs> which I absolutely love. So that's one card down. The other one's very similar as well. Um, this card in particular, I added an extra pink strip there on the left-hand side last minute. This one, I don't add a strip. So tell me what you think. Um, if you prefer that extra added um, strip of cardstock there on the left-hand side or not. So using the um, Welcome Little one from that um, stamp set, I also bring into view this um, stitched banner dies as well it's a trio I've got some worn lipstick because it's a really nice pink tone and it also matches with the actual pink element to the little outfits I popped this up on some 3d foam squares and I definitely didn't hold back and only put the whole row of it <laughs> on the back of that um, but I wanted to just make sure it was securely adhered down because they're quite small squares. They're quite cute, great for this type of thin banner. Now I'll also adhere these down. I toyed with the fact of adding some embellishments with this card, but I realized I wanted to keep this card a little bit simpler. Um, so I didn't add any embellishment, but I do um, add some little bit of sparkle as well with the Spectrum Noir clear sparkle pen okay so again with the foam uh, foam dots and then also the same glue but I actually um, this one clogged up a little bit so I just put that aside just for time's sake and just brought in my multi medium with this um, one you can put as much as all little as you want this precision chip actually is you know depending on the squeeze you can put a lot on or you can put less on I found this awesome um, this little application bottle. So I also continue the theme on the inside as well. Um, a same thing, same idea, strip on the inside of um, pattern paper as well as a little outfit as well. Couldn't help myself and did um, the actual clear sparkle. <laughs> it was just fun to use. And there it is on the inside. Isn't it adorable? These little outfits are just so cute. I reckon they're a, a great to have in your stash to make quick baby cards. And even if you wanted to bulk make these cards, very, very easy to do. Tell me which one you like. Did you like the extra border on the one on the right there? Um, but isn't it cute? These little cards and outfits are just adorable. So don't forget to um, visit our blogs, visit our Facebook and social media, leave comments. We'd love to hear from you. All right, we'll have a great time. See you later. Bye.